so this is one of the most important topics of cons time and work and uh, you need to know the basics about time and work and we'll do some good questions in this and immediately within some time you'll also get the worksheet for percentages okay after uh, profit and loss after, after the finishing of this session after the commencement of this session so let's do this see if suppose a person okay if there is a person a if he can do a job in 3 days okay he can do a job in 3 days the person a can do a job that means it takes 3 days for him to complete the entire work so in one day how much work he has done 1 by 3rd of that work correct so a is 1 days work is equal to 1 by 3 that is nothing but one day's work is see see this is a common sense there is nothing like i need to give you some formulas but for you to remember formulas you could memorize them one by complete time okay so if suppose you are doing some job in 60 hours in one hour how much work you have done one by 60 that means out of the 60 hours one hour work you have done so 1 by 60th work you have done in one hour correct point number 2 all of you are you following yes sir yes yes sir yes sir so now suppose if a person a does 2 by 7th work in one day so total work done by him is what see if i ask you a question if a person is doing a like if a person is doing some work okay in one day that work is 1 by 3 of the total work so a person is doing 1 by 3 of a total work that means he is he is doing 1 by 3 of the total work in how many days So, how much time he will take to finish the total work? Three days. That's understood fact, correct? Because one day's work is one by three, so the total work is just you need to cross multiply. You will get the total work. So, in the same way, if a person does two by seventh of the work in one day, so total work will be done by him in how many days? Three and a half days. Three and a half days. Okay. How I got that? See. One day work is equal to what's the formula? One by what's the formula? One by complete time. So they have given you one day's work. That is two by seven is equal to one by complete time. Let's do one thing. We need to find out the complete time. Correct. So we'll cross multiply. we will take this here and we will take this here so now two complete time is equal to 7 now complete time is equal to 7 by 2 that is 3 and 1/2 days all of you just make a note of this i am moving forward Okay, let's do the next point. Now, see if a person A can do a job in. Eight days, 
and b can do another person b can do a job in b days okay then a and b can finish it in how many days a by a b by a plus b days we can do this in this way see how this formula came into picture a is one day's work is what 1 by a b is one day's work is what 1 by b so what is the combined work the lcm is ab here comes b here comes a so a plus b correct correct or wrong hello hello yes what are you following or not yes sir but you know this is this is how much days work how much days work one day yeah so the total work would be a b by a plus b days okay reciprocal of this 1 by a plus b by 1 by a plus b by ab correct or wrong so 1 by a plus b by ab is nothing but ab would go up so ab by a plus b all of you make a note of this so we can use this formula as combined work formula so if you get a question combined work formula you need to apply if you have two people doing the same work and in a combination that means both of them are doing with each other's assistance formula number 4 don't go into the solving part and all you just remember the formula that's more than enough for you you're writing an aptitude exam you won't ask all these basics now if a person a can do a job in a days and a and b together can do it in t days then b can finish it in t a minus t this okay just write it down so a can do a job in a days a plus b so these people are doing the combined work actually okay a and b can do it in t days together they can do so only b can finish the work in how many days this is the work this is the one okay so if suppose this also can be done in this way a can do a job in suppose 3 days and a and b together can do the job uh, suppose a can do the job in 10 days for example because if someone does a work single handedly he will take more time if they do the job combined job combined work they would do in 5 days for example so this is a this is a plus b okay so b has come uh, jo b has joined here so a can do a job in a days a plus, a plus b can do it the job in t days so b only can finish the job in how many days this is the formula so here nothing but 1 by 5 minus 1 by 10 also we can do okay but as for us as far as i am concerned this is the formula you should remember this formula if you remember that's more than enough for you okay 
all of you are writing them down yes sir yeah sir yeah, yeah. so if i give you a question of this kind you can solve in this way as well as this way so i am giving a question just tell me the answer find out find out the answer for this a and b can do a job in 12 days b alone can finish it in 28 days in how many days can a alone finish the job just find out just tell me what's the answer for this Yes what's the answer I'm asking what's the answer so no one is answering my question here what is the answer for this C A and B can do a job in 12 days fine that is what is given here so this is nothing but the combined work t okay 12 into b alone can finish in how many days 28 days sir 21 days sir yes so what so is 21 days yes yes 21 days correct so so a and b can do a job in 12 days so they would do the combined work in this maybe alone can do it in how many days 28 days correct 28 yeah okay and divided by the a minus t so a is what 28 28 minus 12 so 21 days you would get the answer 28 minus 12 is how much 16, 16. so you can solve this now yeah sir 21 days and you can do this in this way also 1 by 12 minus 1 by 28 you will get the same answer correct 4 by 10 84 uh, 28 minus 12 by uh, 28 into 12 but this would be like one day's work you need to convert into total work so you'll get 1 by 21 maybe am i right if you if you have done in this way you would understand 1 by 21 that is the one day's work So total work is twenty one hours. Same thing. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Next form. Now.
so it's very simple if a b c are working on a job then all the people's combined work together would be nothing but the combination of work they are doing in one day so you'll get the answer in one day you can convert that in total days okay but you know i have a shortcut for this question i'll explain you while doing the question come on right on this form the sir can we do it like a into b into c divided by a plus b plus c we can do that yes we can do that all of you note this down finish okay let's do the next formula see if x men can do a job in t1 days and y women in t2 days then p men plus q women can do the work in how many days 1 by p by x t1 plus q by y t2 days all of you just make a note of this so x men can do a job in t1 days y women can do a job in t2 days then they are asking p men plus q women so if this people if 10 men can do a job in uh, 15 days and 15 women can do a job in 20 days then five men and seven women can do the job in how many days that is what they are asking okay so you can apply this formula instead of solving uh, by taking some more steps this is the easiest way now let's go for the next one so here i can uh, i'll just give you one more formula write down this formula so if three people are working okay if a b c are working on a job uh, and uh, they take how many days a b c are working on a job then these peoples okay a b c is one day work that is work done together would be you can write this way 
let let's take this one day's work as x fine uh, let us take like this if i frame this formula in this way a b c are working on a job okay so a days a take x days to complete the job b takes y days to complete the job c takes z days to complete the job so if i have to now say their combined work what will be the answer write on this formula so now here they are working alone okay if they work alone a will take x days b will take y days c will take z days if they work alone but but if they do combined work they can do in this many days let's do a question of this i'm giving you a question right now now write on the question so these people if they work individually they are taking 30 days 15 days and 10 days a can do the work in 30 days b is more efficient it seems he is doing in less number of days c is even more efficient he is doing in even more less number of number of days so they are asking in how many days can all three do the work okay now just tell me what's the answer for this fast sir 5 days yeah 5 days good so the formula applied is what here x y z by x y plus y z plus z x so what is that x y z what will you do for this 30 into 15 into 10 divided by 30 into 15 plus 15 into 10 plus 30 into 10 now for you if you have to know this see 15 into 30 is 450 450 into 10 is 4500 it's very simple see 30 into 10 is 300 300 into 15 is 4500 30 into 15 is 450 150 300 450 this is 450 450 900 900 are so how many days Five All of you do this. Yeah, five days. Do this. I'll be back in a second.
finished let's go for the next one See if A is twice as good worker as B, then is one day work by B's one day work is equal to 2 by 1 ok this is the A is C C please understand A is a better worker than B correct so he will do more work or less work see A is a better worker than B so who would do the more work in one day 1 A A A, A, will. A would do See, A is twice as good as B. So, A would do two times the more work than B. And time taken by A would be half of B, correct? If yes, you are sir. more efficient, if you are more, if you are more efficient, you will take less time. Correct? Yes, sir. That's understood, fact. So, A's time by B's time is equal to 1 by 2. See, this is the work done ratio. This is a time ratio. So, time ratio is opposite of work done ratio. Do this. Adam, next one. If X men or Y women can do a work in T days, it seems. So, X men and Y women can do a work in T days. Then, P men plus Q women can do the same work in how many days? T by P by X plus Q by Y days. So, X men and Y women can do a job in T days, it seems. They can, they both can do the work in this. Okay. X men or Y women. See, X men or Y women. Like either this, either these people or these people can do the job in these days. If they get, if you see the combination of P men plus Q women, they can do the job in how many days? So, T days divided by P by X plus Q by Y days. That is the ratio of their work done. So these are the formulas you need to apply. Don't go into mechanics and the uh, theorem of all this. Not required. Now do some questions which I give. Come on. Yes, sir. Yeah.
do this sir 12 days yeah 12 days yeah all of you do this hello yes all of you i am waiting for your answer what is that like no one is doing the questions answers what sir, are you people doing in the background i told you no sir who yes did i say anything i am saying others <laughs> others i mentioned okay sir, yes. everyone I is said very good sir. to you so except yes all of you have you got the answer can you share the answer with me yes yes i am i am waiting for the answer i won't go forward until the answer is given by you people chalo Okay i think only yes is the student in this class so let us stop the class and take yes class